Welcome to the Ingleside Public Library Story Time. Today we'll be reading Thanksgiving Day, story by Anne Rockwell, pictures by Lizzie Rockwell. Do you know why we celebrate Thanksgiving? Do you know why we always eat turkey, cornbread, and cranberry sauce on Thanksgiving? I do. I learned why in school. Our teacher, Miss Madoff, read us the story of the first Thanksgiving. I like that story. We learned about the Wampanoag people who were already in this land, and the pilgrims who came across the sea from England. Pilgrim men wore tall black hats with silver buckles, and wi pilgrim women wore white caps. Wampanoag people wore leather headbands with feathers in them. After the story, we put on a play. I went first. I was a ship called the Mayflower. I told how I was thankful that I tossed and rolled and tossed and rolled some more, but I didn't sink in the big waves far out at sea. Evan was a Wampanoag named Somerset. He was thankful for all the wild turkeys that lived in the land. His people called Massachusetts. He told how one day he saw the Mayflower sailing toward his land. Sarah told how all the pilgrims were thankful when they finally reached land. They named a big rock Plymouth Rock after the place they came from in England. They saw lots of wild cranberries growing. That's why we eat cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving, Sarah said. Nicholas told how he was thankful for forests full of trees. The pilgrims chopped them down to build warm houses. Pablo was Squanto. He was thankful that all the kernels of corn the Wampanoag people planted sprouted and grew tall and green. Sam was thankful that Squanto told him wild turkeys were good to eat and he taught him how to hunt them. The pilgrims had never seen a wild turkey in England. They'd never tasted one either. It was delicious. Michiko was thankful that she and all the other pilgrims were greeted kindly by the Wampanango, Wampanoag people who shared the land with them. Kate was thankful that her new neighbors were peaceful pilgrims looking for a new land to live in and not mean people looking for someone to fight with. Jessica was thankful that the beautiful land of Massachusetts had enough good things for everyone. Evelyn was Chief Massasuit. She told how the Wampanago, Wampanoag and Pilgrim people shared their harvest feast one autumn day. That was the first Thanksgiving. It's a story we'll never forget. It's something we celebrate every year. Today is our Thanksgiving holiday. We don't go to school or to work today. Instead, we celebrate and are thankful at home. We eat turkey, cornbread, and cranberry sauce. We invite our family, friends, and neighbors to share our feast, just as the pilgrims and Wampanoag people did. The end. I hope you all enjoyed this book. It's available at the Ingleside Public Library. See you all next time. Bye.